for the fourth match in a row the Vancouver Whitecaps finished tied to earn a single point in the standings. Right off the hop we have a fairly questionable lineup decision going on here. Ali Gazal pairing at CB beside Kendall Waston while Jose Asia was forced to ride the pine. The first half started off well enough for the Caps. Just 20 seconds in Yordi Reyna found a bit of space on the right side of the box and crossed to an open K Kamara, but K hesitated on the shot and put it directly into the keeper's sprawling arms. The Caps then fell into the rope at dope for the next 20 minutes as they looked to hit on the counter. This strategy would bite the home side in the ass as the Revs drew first blood in the 26th minute. Sean Franklin lets Christian Panilla get by him on the left flank, Panilla crosses the ball into the box for no one in particular, only for Ali Gazal to go to ground and clear the ball right into the top corner for an own goal. The Caps tried to answer back immediately as Christian Tecara got away from his marker and lobbed the keeper, but hit the bar. Most of the remainder of the first half was then spent with the teams trading the ball back and forth in midfield with no real meaningful chances. Then the second half got underway and the fireworks started going off. In the 48th minute Panilla again beat Sean Franklin on a through ball and this time he does it all himself beating Brian Rollo to the far post. Almost immediately after the restart the Whitecaps, through some fantastic interplay from the Canadian trio of De Young, Tybert, and Davies, carved their way up the left flank to have Nigel, on the overlap, blow a beauty of a ball to the back post for Christian Tecara who buried it with a fantastic volley. De Young ended up pulling his hamstring on the play and would come out for Brecce in the 60th minute. The bug would strike again in the 51st minute as Russell Tybert intercepted a pass on the left flank and floated another cross over the heads of the helpless New England defenders and onto Tecara's waiting noggin. Tecara bonked it once into the keeper, then again up and over him and the game was level. The refs didn't just roll over after the two quick tying goals however. In the 59th minute Teal Bunbury put New England back in the lead. Ali Ghazal was hurried and passed the ball away while going to ground. Bunbury takes advantage of the open space and runs through the middle of the pitch unmolested where he gets on the end of a Diego Fagandes ball and slots it home behind row. Tying goal came in the 74th minute. Felipe plays a long ball down the right flank to streaking Jordi Reyna, Reyna crosses to Tecara at the back post who scores another volley from his favored left foot. That was it for scoring in this one though okay, Kamara and Felipe both could have finished. All in all the team played an exciting brand of football in this match. I like that they didn't roll over and die when the second goal went in. A questionable start for Gazal at CB probably cost the team the full three points. I have to assume based on the coach's decision today that he does not fully trust Aaron Mond and Jose Asia as a CB pairing, and it's hard to see Doniel Henry slotting in immediately once he is back from loan. As such I can understand Rabo wanting to try Gazal out in the CB role as someone will need to fill the gaping hole that will be left when Kendall Wastone heads to Russia. After his display in this match I don't think Gazal is the man for the job. It's unbelievable to me that K. Kamara miffed on the two chances he had today. K. has not looked like the same player since coming back from his injury. At the moment the Whitecaps are scoring by committee and that's not a bad thing. The team desperately needs all its guns blazing are some steady defense, preferably both, if it wants to truly make a run to the top of the table. 
15% 3 votes, 40% 8 votes, 15% 3 votes, 30% 6 votes, 20 votes total vote now.